This is the second part of three videos for the axe throwing exercise found in chapter eight of the Introducing Autodesk Maya series of books. In this video, we're going to take the axe and give it some weight and add some follow through motion. Now, first, we're going to tinker with the graph editor a little bit to compress the animation to make it a little bit more fast. First, I'm going to take these middle keyframes that has us at frame 15 currently, and we'll make that anticipation a little bit faster. I'll go into the Move tool by pressing W, and I will move these just a couple of frames earlier to frame 13. Then we're going to grab the middle of the arc for our axe, which has us here, and I'm going to change this from frame 27 to frame 19. And lastly, I'm going to grab all of the keyframes currently at the end of my animation at frame 40, and I'm going to move them all back to frame 25. This will make the axe faster. As we can see here, I play it back. It's still missing weight and we need to transfer momentum from the axe to the target as well as tweaking some of the curve settings to make the animation look nicer. At this stage we are corresponding in the book with the section titled adding follow through where you load axe version 3 from the axe projects. We'll of course just use the same file that we have been but if you're following along in the book you can skip ahead and open Axe version 3 instead of this. Now let's go into the graph editor, which again is found under Window, Animation Editor, Graph Editors. What we'll do is we want to sync the axe into the target a little bit more, so we're going to go beyond the end of frame 25 where the animation ends. And at frame 28, I'm going to go and press E for rotate. I'm going to rotate the axe a couple of degrees further in Z as such. Now having done that it has my axe going down a little bit which makes it seem like it's sinking into the target maybe a little too much. I'm going to go ahead and lift it up and send it a little further into my target. There's definitely something here that we have to address to make it look more smooth. In the graph editor, we can take a look at just this rotate Z curve and really concentrate on the very end motion here. We're going to want to adjust the tangencies to make the axe hit with a sudden thud and then slowly sink in as opposed to right now where it's very smooth. First I'm going to break this tangent handle because if I move one part of the tangent it disturbs both sides of my curve. I'll hit Z to undo that and I will go over to the top here to break that tangent and now I can move that to create more of a straight angle here and also to take out that little bit of a dip and create a nice angle here and I'll keep this flat for now we'll see how this looks we get more of an impact and then a nice little dig that slowly comes to a stop. This will correspond to figure 8.20 in the book and you can see that the curve gives you that little bit of weight for the axe. But let's take a look at the other curves that we end up with here and we'll concentrate on the uh, the X and the Y for the axe impact and do much the same for the other attributes. So we have a 
solid hit. Go ahead and want to break those tangents and create a nice angle here. And then we'll want to make sure that we have a nice ease out. So it slowly comes to a stop. But we do want this part of the curve to be nice and angled. So we have a nice sharp V for this part of the curve. We'll do the same for the red curve, which is the translate X. This tangent is already broken, so we'll set that nice angle at a nice flat edge. And what we have here is a pair of curves that will look similar to figure 8.21 in the book. If I scrub my animation, I have a better impact where it looks like the axe is actually stopping when it hits very suddenly and then slowly sinking in the target. In the third and final video for the axe throwing exercise, we're going to go ahead and put the follow through animation into the target.